Hello, I'm Juma Peely. I'm one of the admins um, in this group. Some of you may know me from my posts. Um, we are trying to make sure that the sound is working all right. We're kind of learning how to set this system up. I know I had promised you guys that I was going to um, start to do videos of how to work the machine. So my husband just told me that the sound is good so we're good this time this will be the one we go with okay um i just purchased the juki hzl nx7 i know a lot of you are going to be saying the way that jim Philly bashes juki why does she do that this machine really impressed me online i got this from uh quilters headquarters in South Dakota, the dealer, his name is Robert White. He is in our group, so if you have any questions about the machine, you can certainly ask him, um, and you can get one from him if you wanna get one from him, but there are, they are, I got the last one that he had in stock. I'm hoping that this machine will solve some problems, like I said. Um, I had a Baby Lock Jazz, so I had the larger um, foot, or larger arm area, but I, the Jazz only had straight and zigzag stitch, and it was a mechanical machine and not a computerized one. So it didn't have any, you know, it didn't have any fancy buttons like lifting your foot and, and putting your foot down and stuff like that that you could do from buttons. And I was really used to using that from having a Foth. Now, there is a FOF that's kind of like this. It's, I think it's called the Epic, but it's $5,900, $5,999. And I think that the IDT might be out of um, patent because this machine has IDT also. So it had the same features that my FOF has and it had the features that the baby lock had. So I kind of thought maybe this was a good mix. Plus it's semi, it's semi professional. So I'm hoping that it will sew through really thick things like leather too. So I'm gonna unbox this for us. This is the second time I've unboxed it. So I repacked it. <laughs> so I won't be as shocked when I open things up this time as I was the last time. So Robert, sent me a pattern. I'd be interested to sew the pattern. We have our instruction manual that we all read all the time. Actually, I will read that because this machine has a very interesting foot, um, foot pedal. Um, it's supposed to be multifunction, so it will lift up your uh, pressure foot, put your pressure foot down, um, it will do a lot of different things. So I'm, I'm going to be looking at the manual so that I can learn how to use my pressure foot or my sewing foot. We have the cord, of course, the power cord. Even though the uh, foot pedal will do some of the some of that functionality of lifting um, it does come with the traditional knee lift for those who are really used to using that now this machine is different because some of you who have the smaller jet uh, jukies that are like the nine inch um, like a 10, a 2010 Q or something like that. I don't know if they come with a box or not, but this one doesn't. So it doesn't have a, a box that slips over the arm. So it comes with a separate box to hold your feet in. There is an additional plate. I've heard that somebody said that this is a legendary, uh, legendary buttonhole. There's one, two, three, four, five bobbins. I will definitely have to get some more bobbins. There is a clarity foot and about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other feet. And they're really just traditional sewing feet, though they do have the one fourth inch. Um, they have the one fourth inch for us to do our quilting, but it's not clear. Okay. Styrofoam. Here 
here is the table that comes with it. And this is really nice because other machines, you have to go and buy the table. And we all know these tables cost like two or $300. So I was really excited about not having to actually buy a table for my new machine again some more. When I opened the box before, yeah, thanks. I can see the comments now. <laughs> it does sound better, right? We had to hook it up a different way. So when I opened the box before, I was really surprised by this because um, I didn't know this came with it. This is a really nice, it's like, you know, has storage space. It's really sturdy. I think you could probably, like if you were gonna travel with your machine, if you were gonna, travel just talk honey tell me what to do <laughs> <laughs> it's good for storage it flattens out yeah oh yeah it flattens out it's good for storage. it's you, well you can store it or you can cover your machine to keep it from getting dusty and actually in my house I have a lot of dust so my machines are always dusty that's always a problem around here my husband always tells me to clean my sewing machines <laughs> all right I'm gonna take it out of the box now it's heavy it's heavy so you can see it has the 12 inch um, sewing area and that's really nice when you're working you know you're working with bigger quilts um, we are going to set this up um, and then we'll show it to you when we get it set up um, probably I'll show it to you in pictures set up but I want to thank you guys for putting me it does yes it does have the ruler foot and it looks like the I, I don't know if the I can't tell who's actually asking the question because this is in a group so it says private user but you know we were having the discussion about the clarity foot on our long arm and this has something that looks like a clarity foot so yes it does have a ruler foot for those who wanted to know um, are there any other questions real quick before I go <laughs> and set it up <laughs> okay well I thank you guys for putting up with me now I know how to make sure that my sound works right and um, I will start doing uh, videos on the long arm uh, we have obviously we have the setup I've got cameras galore and programs and sound systems and all kinds of stuff to do it so we will get on it pretty soon here um, and if you have any questions, you can certainly message me. Some of you know my phone number, you can call me, whatever. And like I said, I got it from uh, Quilter's headquarters in South Dakota. I, and he is in our group, his name is Robert White. I have been, um, if you go to the marketplace, there are items in the marketplace that are sold by him. Um, if you have the Juki long arm with the robotics and you're looking to get the gold card, he can get you the gold card because I know a lot of people were having some issues um, finding a dealer that would sell them the gold card. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye. Yeah.